When I took the cover off the rear vent, I noticed there was about two mil of water in, and also there was a drip from the edge of the vent itself. What I don't know is whether it's condensation getting down there because the cover was on. However, there was no drip or leak on the front vent, so that didn't seem likely. So this shell sits inside a seal which goes all the way around like that. So let me try and explain it. There's the steel of the roof. There's a support button in place for the fan. There's the insulation. And then there's aluminium foil and vapor seal. Like that. And then there's the ceiling board there. The fan sits inside that and it has this double skin like that. So the thought is the water is getting down here and sitting in here to make the drips. If the leak is from the lights or back here, that, that water would stay on the roof and end up kind of somewhere else. Because the van's been parked on a slope, the water's pooling at the back here. And hindsight being a wonderful thing, it definitely looks like I didn't use enough Sikaflex on this edge. The real problem seems to be on the front edge. The mastic tape didn't stick to the plastic. So the problem is this ridge. And having to lift it up on mastic, I think. The front vent was much simpler to fit because the roof was flat. I think the other thing that I hadn't done properly was trim back the mastic tape. Uh, anyway, to do the repair, cut everything back, cleaned everything with isopropyl alcohol, and then put some Sikaflex on. Obviously these sort of problems don't necessarily occur when you have perfect conditions to repair them. And it was two degrees centigrade, so there wasn't much chance that the Sikaflex would cure. The vents are passive, so air passes in and out, whether the fan's on or not. I covered the roof in bubble wrap, ramped the heating up so that warm air would rise and get into the space and cure the Sikaflex, which it did. It's all good.